All right. This is Jeff Cox with Renewable Technology Solutions. Today, I'm going to show you how to um, create a custom email template for email marketing campaign. Um, and we're going to do it in such a way, um, we want to make sure the formatting is right, but we don't, I'm going to show you how to do it so that we can use templates without actually having to using, without having to use images and all of that stuff in the email messages. So um, we'll come over to email campaign to get started, but you want to go to, uh, to the to left menu, choose marketing. And you want to go to email campaign. So um, just to get started, um, let me show you there's two ways we can do this. Uh, if we use custom HTML, right? This is going to require that we understand how to use HTML and how to customize our messages using HTML and HTML tags. So this is something that um, you don't want to do if you don't have experience. Uh, with HTML documents. So we'll choose another route. So we'll close that. We'll come back. We'll start over. We'll create an email campaign. Um, this time, we'll use a template. And let's say you want to use this template, OK? So first of all, let's get rid of, we're just testing this. We don't need a bunch of recipients for this. So uh, let's change the name of this. We're going to say test. So we're going to call this test email campaign template. And let me just say JC, OK? Just keep it safe. So subject, uh, test template for email campaign. All right. Now, in the body of the message, this is where we want to get rid of all of this stuff, right? Well, let's pick and choose what we want to get rid of, right? So if we didn't want this image, we could just hover over the image, click the X, get rid of it. Um, title, if we didn't want a title, same thing. We could just hover over it, get rid of it, okay? Um, if we didn't want a button, include it. And hover over that, get rid of it. Um, any other blocks? We have three more blocks. So let's say we didn't want any of this information. Get rid of that one, get rid of the social media section, and get rid of the footer. Okay. So I would suggest keeping this section, right? This section is allows you to type freely and allows the body of your email to keep um, to keep its format without understanding HTML. Okay, so if we wanted to customize this, we can say hello. Um, I am testing my new email template. Okay, and we like it. Sincerely, hashtag sender. Hashtag sender would be, it will fill that in with whoever's sending the message, right? Um, and let's be a little more picky about that. So this is how our email looks currently, okay? So if we apply the changes, okay? Now let's say um, we really wanted to address all of our recipients by first name, right? Just to be sure, I got rid of name, but if we were sending this from all of our contacts in our database, we were sending this email to all of our contacts, we could just simply come over to the three buttons, click on it, click on contact, and we want to address our contacts by first name, right? Now, for some reason, it always, it seems to put the hashtag contact.name 
in the subject bar, but we can get it out of there and we can paste it down into this section of our message. So here we have hello, contact name. I am testing my new email template. Hope you like it. Sincerely, hashtag sender. Fly. And I have a test segment that I use. So um, that's test segment. Close that. Three recipients. I apply that. And I hit save. But I'll just send this. Uh, okay, so I'll just send it. All right. So that's it. Um, that's pretty much how you um, you know can pretty much customize the body of these email templates uh, so that you don't have to use images or anything else that. Uh, Bitrix24 wants to give you. So I hope this was helpful. Uh, when I check this email, everything is going to look great. Confident. So if you follow these instructions, um, you'll get the results that you're looking for. Thank you. Hope you enjoy.